Raise your hand if you want to eat meat from cloned animals. Raise your hand if you want to eat some, some fake ass meat. Uh, what is going on here? There's some weird science fiction stuff going on in this world that is just absolutely inexplicable and unexcusable. All right. The new story now is that the FDA is about to start allowing us to eat meat from cloned animals, to drink milk from cloned animals. This stuff is going to hit the supermarket shelves. All right. This is weird. This has never been done in the history of mankind. You don't know what the long term effects of this might be. Don't we already have like, you know, a bad enough uh, a deal going on right now with regular cows? I mean, we recall millions of pounds of ground beef, it seems like, every week. And now we're talking about using clone cows? What is going on? We already have genetically modified foods. And on top of that, we don't even know what foods we eat are genetically modified because the FDA does not require the manufacturer or the company to label them. And the same thing's going to go for your cloned meat that you're going to be eating. What is going on here? The FDA is all about shady business. If you actually investigate the FDA, you know, you read a couple of books or watch a few flicks that I recommend, you'll find out that these guys who work for this administration, you know, they'll work for the FDA and they'll move back out in the industry. So they'll work for the food companies, or they'll work for the pharmaceutical companies, and then they'll go back to the FDA, handle some business, you know, make a little money for some people, some stockholders, and they'll go back to industry and they bounce back and forth. There's so much conflict of interest going on in the FDA that it's absolutely ridiculous and unsafe for the American population for this to be allowed to happen. All right. And so what I urge you to do is learn more about your FDA, learn more about the people who are responsible for your health and who are, you know, responsible for the food that goes into your body. I mean, read a book called Sweet Deception. This is mostly about artificial sweeteners. This is by Dr. Uh, Joseph Mercola. Great book. And there is a lot of information here about the FDA. Another book is um, Fight for Your Health by Byron Russell. Fan fantastic book okay that's fight for your health by byron russell great book go if you're on google video go to google and look for a prescription for disaster uh look for the future of food all right there's some strange stuff going on here we cannot trust the fda the fda are the same it's the same administration that said viox was was okay it's the same administration that said baycall was okay all right these drugs killed thousands upon thousands of people all right it's the same uh administration that said that vitorin was better for you than the other statin drugs and today i watched on the news that vitorin is no better than the other drugs um that that it claims to be better than all right so this is what we're dealing with we cannot let the fda get away with this send an email to the fda send a letter to the fda and tell them you do not want to be eating weird meat like this this is uncalled for. It's ridiculous, all right? Just had to get that off my mind because that's just been bugging me since I've been hearing about this. Anyway, I'm out. I'll get back with you in a few days.